In this video we're going to find out how to work out where the centre of a circle is. Now you can probably just about see where my compass has made a little hole in the paper there, um, but let's ignore that for now and pretend we don't know where the centre of the circle is. All we have to do is draw a couple of chords to our circle at uh, reasonably big chords, so we're going to go with this one here and another one at sort of, you know, not 90 degrees, but quite a good angle with it. Let's do this one over here. And let's call this point here A, this one we'll call B, this one here we'll call C, and this one here we'll call D. So we've got two chords on the circle, just randomly drawn, at sort of decent angles uh, with each other. Now what we need to do is to um, take a pair of compasses and open them so that they're over half the length of each of those chords, so I'll just make it slightly bigger. There we go, so that's over half of that length. And I'm just going to um, put the compass point here and do my perpendicular construct, uh, perpendicular bisector of a line construction. So that one there, and keeping the compass width the same. Do the same here, and then I can join this point here to this point here and extend it on through the middle and the centre of the circle lies somewhere on that line. So if I do the same construction over here with this chord, so compass point on B, draw my arc that goes all the way around, compass point on A, draw my arc that goes all the way around, and then again let's use this Our centre of the circle is somewhere on that line. Now if the centre of the circle is somewhere on that line and it's somewhere on that line, it must be this point here. Okay, that's where the centre of the circle is. So let's try that and see. So if we put my compass point here and then just open up my compasses With any luck, if I just swivel that round, okay, we can see that yes, indeed, that is the centre of the circle. As I swivel that all the way around, it seems to be drawing exactly the same circle that we've already got there. So that is finding the centre of a circle.